Women have made history throughout history. Some we all know, the suffragettes, the riveters, the marchers, women who were clear-eyed about the moment in which they lived, who stood together against all odds, who lifted each other up, who lifted our nation up. Their stories remind us of what's possible. And there are others whose stories have often gone untold. I'm talking about Radia Perlman and the women engineers who have helped transform the internet into what we use today. Mary Jackson and the women mathematicians who helped the United States win the space race. I'm talking about Harriet Williams Russell Strong and the pioneers in agriculture. Felicitas Mendez and the fighters for equal access to education. Sylvia Rivera and the fighters for LGBTQ rights. We all feel the impact of these women and their work every day. We honor these and so many other women. We honor all women. And that is certainly true today as we confront this devastating pandemic. Women have been among the heroes of this moment. The majority of frontline workers are women. Every day for a year now, women have gone to work, sometimes risking their own health to nourish us, to protect us. Doctors and nurses, principals and teachers, grocery store workers, small business owners, first responders, scientists. We owe these women so much. And I want the women of America to know that, well, you know, President Biden and I, we see you. We see how hard it is for mothers with daycare closed and schools being remote. We see how hard it is for young women to prepare for a future when things seem so uncertain. And we're here to deal with it. Our American Rescue Plan will help get kids safely back to school, businesses back open, and women back to work. At the same time, we must look toward the future, a future in which women will be able to get a job that offers equal pay for equal work and treats her with dignity and lets her rise through the ranks without obstacle. A future in which women will be able to take time off and get the health care they need if they're sick or a family member is sick. A future in which women will be able to send their children to high quality, affordable daycare. You know, women make the world work. And in this future, the world will work for women. And when it does, we will all be safer, stronger, and more prosperous. So let me end by saying, women must always remember, no matter how isolated, no matter how overlooked you may feel, no matter how hard things get, you are not alone. You are part of a long line of women who have struggled and succeeded, who have lived and led. You are part of a community of women that keeps our nation going. So let's keep standing strong, keep pushing through, keep making history, because we are going to build a better future for women, for girls, and for all Americans together. Thank you.